हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डीएमजी केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस एंड माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर महेंद्र गुलेरिया एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्रेशर वॉल्यूम वर्क सो प्रेशर वॉल्यूम वर्क इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप ऑफ वर्क यूज इन केमिकल थर्मोडायनेमिक्स इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज एक्सपेंशन वर्क एंड इट इज डन बाई अ गैस वैन इट एक्सपैंड और कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स अगेंस्ट एक्सटर्नल प्रेशर एंड generally we have atmospheric pressure okay so for driving an expression for this type of work done let us consider a gas enclosed inside a cylinder and fitted with a weightless frictionless piston okay and area of the cross section of the cylinder is a square centimeter so the area of the cross section of the piston will also be equal to a square centimeters and p external is the pressure which is acting upon the piston from outside so it is the external pressure okay against which the gas will expand okay so for the expansion let us suppose that external pressure is slightly less than the internal pressure of the gas so when the external pressure is less than the internal pressure of the gas then the gas will expand and suppose the gas expands through a distance dl in such a way that gas has expanded up to this place and this will be the new position of the piston and this will be the new position of the piston and suppose the distance this distance is dl centimeters okay so the force acting on the piston is p external into a and from where this expression has come we know that pressure is equal to force acting per unit area that is force divided by area so from here force will be equal to pressure into area okay as i said the distance through which the gas expands is equal to dl centimeter so now we have force we have the distance now the small amount of work done by the gas will be equal to f into dl that is force into displacement now i will substitute the value of force here that is force is equal to p external into a so after substituting the value we have p external into a into dl okay and this a into dl that is area into distance or area into height is equal to volume so a into dl will be equal to a small change in volume which took place when gas expanded through the length dl okay and uh, let us understand how the area and height is equal to volume because let us uh, take an example of cuboid so we have a cuboid okay this way its sides is this is suppose this is b this is a sorry this is b and this is c so its volume will be equal to a into b into c and what is this a into b this a into b is the area of this rectangular face okay so we can say that volume is equal to this is area of the rectangular face into what is c c is the height so we can also write volume as area into height here small a is the area and dl is the height through which the piston has moved okay uh, so a small amount of work done is equal to p external into dv and suppose if the system changes from a finite volume that is v1 to v2 then we know from mathematics then the total work done can be calculated by integrating this equation number 1 between the limits v1 and v2 
so the total work done w will be equal to integration of this between the limits p1 sorry v1 to v2 and as i said that external pressure is constant the remaining constant so it will be outside the sign of integration and there will be dv and dv after integrating we have v because differential and integral cancel each other so p external into v and here the limits v1 to v2 then after substituting the limits i will have p external into v2 minus v1 that is p external into v2 minus v1 and what is this v2 minus v1 it is equal to change in volume that is delta v okay so the total amount of work done comes out to be p external into delta v but this is the work done by the gas because the gas is being expanded so this is the work done by the gas or the work done by the system according to the latest sign conventions from iupac the work done by the system is given negative sign okay so the work done by the system or the gas will be equal to minus p external delta v okay for compression let us suppose that external pressure is slightly more than the internal pressure of the gas okay and in this case the gas will be compressed and there will be decrease in volume okay and for compression also the expression will be derived in this manner but in that case the final volume will be less than the initial in case of compression the final volume will be less than the initial volume and this v2 minus v1 will be a negative quantity so negative multiplied by positive no uh, sorry negative multiplied by negative it will become positive okay so here the gas is being compressed so the work is being done on the gas that is work is done on the system and the work done on the system will be given positive sign and it will be equal to plus p external into delta v here the process which is taking place whether it is expansion or it is compression it is irreversible process okay so we have calculated work done for the irreversible process if uh, there is vacuum for example the vacuum mean to say this cylinder is placed inside a container where there is no external pressure or where there is no gas there is vacuum when there is vacuum p external will become equal to zero and when p external becomes equal to zero then there will be no work done this means then when a gas is allowed to exp expand against vacuum or zero pressure then the work done is equal to zero okay so this is all about the pressure volume work here i would like to discuss the different modes of exchange of energy between system and surrounding that how the system and surrounding can exchange energy because we are talking about work here so work is also a mode by which a system and surrounding can exchange their energies for example i have this duster and i just push this duster in the forward direction then i use my energy and i also do some work this means my energy has been converted into work okay and i have exchanged my energy through work and this is the case also in the first case the gas was expanding when the gas was expanding the gas was doing work okay and the gas was using its internal energy to do work so in this process the energy was exchanged with the surrounding in the form of work okay in the second case when the gas was compressed then the work was done on the gas and energy of the gas will increase this means that in this case the energy of the system is exchanged with the gas 
in the form of work okay when system does or sorry surrounding does work on the system then the energy of the system increases so the uh, this uh, system and surrounding they can exchange energy with each other by doing some work second mode of transference of uh, or the exchange of energy between system and surrounding is heat as i have already explained suppose that if system is at higher temperature and surrounding is at lower temperature then heat will flow and heat is also a form of energy okay and if surrounding is at high temperature and system is at low temperature then surrounding will give energy in the form of heat to the system so we have two modes by which the system and surrounding can exchange the energy that is heat and work okay so Uh, this is this was all about i was having in this video and uh, thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon and keep watching my channel for my upcoming videos thank you very much